Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren and today we are at Laguna Nationals Classic Course. We have a very special and very talented guest. Her name is Shannon Tan. She's 17 years old and she's currently the best female amateur in Singapore. Shannon and I will be playing as a team and our objective will be to score as low as possible from the hybrid tees. So if you do not know what the hybrid tees are, they are a mix of blues and whites. But by looking at the scorecard, I think they are more blues than the whites. We will be teeing off from all of Shannon's driver, which also means that I will only be hitting shots that approaches the green. From our second shot, we have about 105 meters, and I will always have Shannon Tan to go first, and then as a partner, I will be second to go. So Shannon has already put her ball onto the green and we got her to go first so she can secure uh, the par for this hole. And I'll be attempting to go for birdie from just outside the green. Hole 2 is a long par 4 at 398 meters. Shannon will have to hit this ball across this wide canal. She's a great golfer and she can do this pretty easily. Now we are left with 188 meters. The pin is on the back right of this hole. And Shannon has put out her three wood and hit a nice cut. But it got unlucky, the ball landed at the back of the green and it bounced to the far end of the hole. Here I've got a 4 iron and after seeing Shannon uh, putting a ball just off the green, uh, I just had to play it safe and put it on the green. So here's my really long part. The only thing that I was thinking about was to have a good pace and get the ball up onto the second tier. Shannon's ball and my ball were of the same distance, so I opt to go first as I was pretty confident with this par part. Wow! 03 is a par 5 at 464 meters. Now we're going back in the opposite direction and we have to cross the canal again. Here Shannon is going for a layup to her favourite distance at about 70 to 80 metres. And from here, both of us will be attacking the pin. She struck this just a bit too heavy and the ball came up slightly short of the green. As for me, I cut the ball just a bit too much and it came up short as well on the right side of the green. After seeing Shannon putting this ball pretty close to the hole, Get in the hole. Uh, you won't see my chip because I scouted it and it went to the bunker on the other side. Thank you Shannon for saving par for the team. Good save. Hole 4, par 3, 135 meters. The pin is middle right. Shannon is opting for a slight cut towards the hole, which also means she's attacking the pin. The ball just slided a bit too much and landed in the bunker. I've got an 8 iron and I'm going to hit a 3 quarter punch and aim to put it as close as possible. The bunkers here are pretty hard as you can see it's uh, wet so the ball will come up pretty quick. Shannon hit this to about 8 feet 
and this is my birdie attempt. If you like this birdie part, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Hole 5 is a par 4 at 345. This is not an easy tee off. As you can see, we've got water on the left. And I think it's OB on the right. So you have to be pretty precise to hit this ball right in the middle of the ferry. But I've got Shannon, who is my trusted partner. So easy, yeah. <laughs> and now we've got 97 meters. Shannon got a pitching wedge. And I hope she put this close enough. I must say that the conditions in this course is really good. The greens are running really well. The fairways and the tee boxes are in pristine condition. Well done to the maintenance team at Laguna National. Our ball is on a slight downhill lie. At 119 meters, Shannon chose to go with a 9 iron. She's going straight for this pin. She struck it really well and it was all over the pin and it landed softly just slightly behind the hole. Shot. In my case, I went with a pitching wedge and pulled this slightly. Just a little bit. But luckily, it's still on the green. Since my ball is further away, I will try to secure the par first, so my partner Shannon can go for birdie. Hole 7, par 3 at 147 meters. We have a slight headwind. But although I don't think it will affect our shot, Shannon has a 5 eye in the hand. Didn't hit this too good. And the ball landed just short of the bunker on the right side. So it's up to me, as a partner, to put the ball onto the green. One of the most important skills as a top amateur is to have really good shot game. You have the ability to save par from most given situations. Watch how Shannon saves par from this difficult spot. So good, right? Lunch. And since my partner has already saved such a magnificent par, I just cannot leave my part short. Okay, so we've got two more holes, and that also means that we have two more holes to birdie. This par 4 is at 323 meters. Shannon's gonna rip this and put it down the middle of the fairway. At 104 meters, Shannon is going with a pitching wedge. This pin suits her eye and she plays a slight cut towards the hole. And I think this is looking really good. Oh, I think that's perfect. I'm going with an approach wedge. And it seems to be a trend for me to pull my shots, especially when I'm just below 110 meters. 
something for me to go and work on. I've already saved my pa, and Shannon almost, just almost made birdie. It's okay, Shannon, we still got another hole. Hole 9, par 5, 458 meters. This hole is actually quite long for her, especially out the tee off. So she has to start her ball right off this bunker. And on her second shot, she chose to go with a 23 hybrid. And her start line will be just right off this bunker. And the ball's gonna draw back and roll down the slope just slightly towards the left. Now we are in the range of uh, 55 meters. This is kind of a testy range for both of us. Don't worry, Shannon. I got you covered. So I've got a 58 degrees and I hope to put this pretty close. Thank you for watching. I really enjoyed the front nine with Shannon. And I'll see you guys at the back nine of the classic course. May the course be with you.